Hello, welcome to Poké Lee. Today I'm doing a step-by-step -step guide on how to send cards to Ace Grading. Let's take a look. First of all, it's very important to prepare your cards properly. This will help minimise risk of damage and make sure everything goes through smoothly. Most people like to keep their cards in top loaders like this, which is perfectly fine. However, to have your cards graded, you must send them in semi-rigids, which are these. If you don't have any semi-rigids, do not worry, they're really easy to get hold of. I will leave some links in the description below. You will also notice I have a tab. This tab is stuck to the back of the sleeve. The reason for this is to make it easier for the grader to pull the card out with minimal risk of damage. If you are wondering where we get these tabs from, these are what I use. Really easy to get hold of, you can go to Amazon or eBay and search for them. I will leave a link in the description as well. Also, there's a little cheap and easy trick you can do. So this is another one. As you can see, we have a tab right there. And the way I made this tab is with post-it notes. Really, really easy to do. Grab the first one, the sticky bits at the top at the back there. Let's grab some scissors. Cut them in half. The sticky bit is now going up there. Cut a tab. The sticky bit is at the top. And you can stick it to the back like that. So now you have a easy homemade tab. So now all the cards are prepared, it's time to do the submission on the website. There are a few very important things to look out for, so I will explain those as we go along in this tutorial. First of all, you would sign up to the website. After you've registered, you would click on Submit Cards. And you can also click on Submissions at the top and Create New or Continue. From this point, you would click Start Submission. And this is an important thing to look out for, which is the service levels that are available. You have bulk at £10 a card, which is 60 business days. Standard at £15 a card, which is 30 business days. Premier at £30 a card at 10 business days. Or Ultra at £50 a card, which is 5 business days. The only difference is the price and the time it takes to uh, get them back. So you will see at the moment that bulk is closed and Standard is in final spaces remaining. We are actually going to use Standard. You can also name your submission there if you want to. This is one of the many things I love about Ace Grading is the automated service levels. You know exactly what's available, how long to expect to wait, and they close the ones that are too busy to not get overrun, which is great. Right, let's move on to the next screen. Confirm. Now we've reached the card entry screen, the first thing to look out for is the current card limit. This changes, last week it was 20, now it's 60, meaning you can submit a maximum of 60 cards. If this says 20, you can submit a maximum of 20. At the moment you can submit 60, which is really good. So what I'm going to do is fill in this with a few different types of cards. Some will need ace labels, some will need colour match and some normal. Also I have some Chinese cards which won't be on the system yet, so I'll show you how to fill in a card that isn't on the system as well. To make things easier to follow, I've put a camera above me so you can see exactly what cards I'm entering as I'm putting them in the website. For the first one, we'll do something simple. I have two res challengers from Double Blaze and I'm going to enter them into the website now. So quantity you'll change to two. The brilliant thing about Ace Grading is the search. It is amazing. So if I just put 107, which is the card number, and I put red, it will come up with Red's challenge right there. So first of all, let's put a value in. I'll value them at about 25 pound each. So 50 pound total. And we'll click add card for Red's challenge. Boom, that is done. The next thing to look out for is what label you want. In this case, we have standard and color match. I'm gonna leave that as standard. I like the standard, it's classy. And let's move on to the next card. The next one is actually from Randolph's break. He recognized me from Instagram because I post some Ace Grading slabs. And I said, whatever I pull, we'll send it off to Ace Grading. And unfortunately, I pulled the worst card of the set probably, which is an imposter Professor Oak. But I'm still going to send it. I will be taking it out of this and sending it properly. But I just wanted to show you it's arrived. It's being sent. So let's add that to the website. We've got 004 from the 25th anniversary. Um, it's come up already, I'll put prof, and there we go, I think it's worth about £5, and we'll add that to the list, and it is now being sent. This is also a good opportunity to show you how to do an ace label, so you go to the end where it says standard, 
click the drop down menu and select ace you can see it charges five pound extra but just for fun we're going to do this as an ace label as well so as you've seen it's really simple to submit cards to ace you simply put the quantity search for the card put the value and put the label that you want to use really simple however there's one more thing i haven't shown yet which is entering cards that are not on the system for example this glaceon from eevee heroes if you look at the back it's not the japanese version this is actually the chinese version so this is not on the system yet i'm going to show you how to add it right now so let's do a quick step by step on how to add a card that is not on the ace grading system yet it's very simple to do firstly let's search for the card just to make sure it's not there so it's 077 glaceon and as you can see it only comes up with the japanese version there's no chinese version there so let's put a quick value i'll value it at 30 pound and we'll go down to card not listed let's create that as you can see these sections are not filled in properly or not filled in at all so the best way to do it if the card exists in another language is search for that card so i'll search it again 077 and glaceon and we'll put a value of 30 pound and we'll add the japanese one so all we're going to do is copy and paste the details from one to the other so we've got glaceon v eva heroes it's a special art it's not japanese it's the chinese version and then we've got 2021 it's the same number be aware that some other languages can have different numbers so just check that first and we've got the standard label it doesn't let you change it because it doesn't know what card it is yet and we can now delete the japanese version there so now we have the card with the correct name set variant language release date number and price the great thing is if you do enter any details incorrectly by mistake ace grading will email you with the correct details and ask if you're happy to continue you reply telling them you're happy and they will continue with that submission. However, this can take an extra couple of days, so it's always good to do the research and make sure everything's done properly in the first place. This is the submission at this point. As you can see, I've added quite a lot of cards. I've also added ace labels to each card that accepts it because I really like them. What I would recommend doing is checking through them all, making sure everything's correct and that you are happy with the price at the top. When you're happy with your submission, what I would recommend doing is putting your cards in the same order as the list. For example, we have two reds challenge, and then we have Imposter Professor Oak, Glaceon, and so on. This is to make it easier for Ace Grading to go through, making it quicker to go through the system, and quicker to get back to you. The whole aim is to make this process as easy as possible for both parties, yourself and Ace Grading. Let's continue with this submission. So it says at the bottom, submission comments you can add those if you like i'm not going to the next page we have your details i've blanked mine out so you can't see them obviously so you just fill your details in there and then click next next up we have the review of the submission again i would recommend going through these and making sure everything is correct and that you're happy with the end price as well if you're happy with that click i'm not a robot and then complete submission that's the submission complete however we do need to pack these up and put the packing label inside as you can see it says your packing slip is being generated please check back soon so we're going to pop back in five minutes print off the label and continue from there it's been a few minutes i've refreshed the website and now the packing slip is available to download i have already downloaded it so let's take a look here is the packing slip you do need to make sure you do this part correctly or it can delay your return and cause issues Firstly, you need to make sure the submission number matches the submission number on the website. Also, that your return address is correct. The barcode below is also very important. I will explain what that's for when we've printed it off. Let's take a look. Here is the packing slip. I've covered my address up for security reasons. All you have to do is cut out this bottom section. The rest of that goes in the box with your cards. This bottom section here has the barcode. You cut out this barcode and you affix this barcode to the outside of the box. When it arrives at Ace Grading, they can then scan this barcode and they know exactly where it's from, what's inside and what service to use before even opening the box. So bubble wrap your cards, secure them with more bubble wrap if needed. And don't forget to add your packing slip as well. 
So as mentioned earlier, we cut out that barcode from the packing slip to add to the front of the box. So the box is taped up ready to go, it doesn't have to be neat as long as the barcode's showing. I usually leave a little gap so they can slit it open so it's easy to access as well. Also I always send special delivery so it's fully insured and it arrives next day. You've sent your cards and now you want to track the submission of course. Here is how to do it. If you go to submission at the top, submission dashboard, it will show all your submissions. If we go to the most recent on mine, it still says download packing slip because it won't change until it arrives there. So let's go to a previous one. By clicking the submission number, you can check that submission's progress. At the moment, this one is on QA check one. However, when you send yours, it'll start at the beginning, submission created, which we've already done. Then it will go to awaiting arrival, arrived, research and ID, authentication, grading, grading, label printing, QA check one, assembly, QA check two, awaiting payment, shipping and shipped. So you can check every single step of your submission. You will notice as well that it says awaiting payment. This means you don't pay anything until they've all been graded and ready to ship back to you. Good luck to you on your ace grading submission. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, check out one of these. If you're curious on what this submission gets, feel free to subscribe. I will be uploading the video when it arrives. Also, don't miss my live streams right here on YouTube every Saturday where I do live box breaks and giveaways. It's a lot of fun. Don't miss them. I will see you there. Bye.